friends, welcome to another video. My name is Elizabeth. Today I'm going to talk about the 12 fantasy series that I want to start in 2023. I recently put out a video going over the 12 fantasy series that I wanted to continue this coming year with two series that I want to finish this coming year. And <laughs> because of that, I figured I should go over the series that I really want to get started. Some of these, you're going to be like, you haven't read that yet. Oh. But I haven't read it yet. So that's why it's on this list, okay? The first series on this list should be a no-brainer, and it is Rain Wild Chronicles by Robin Hobb. This is the fourth series in the Realm of the Elderlings. My last video, I said I wanted to continue on and hopefully finish the Tawny Man trilogy, and then I will be able to start the Rain Wild, Rain Wild Chronicles. I can't really tell you much about this book or about this series. I don't know much about this series. I like going into the Realm of the Elderlings not knowing anything, so I have no idea. I'm guessing that we're back with some of the characters from the Live Ship Traders. I have no idea. I know that there's going to be dragons. The first book is called The Dragon Keeper, so got gotta be dragons, right? I mean, hello, dragons. Hello. <laughs> I love dragons, okay? Don't, I don't want to talk about it. The next series that I want to start is The First Law by Joe Abercrombie. I know very little about I guess I should say I know very little about almost all of these series that I'm going to be talking about today. The only thing that I know about First Law by Joe Abercrombie is that it is dark. It is dark fantasy. I'm really excited to jump into it. I I don't even know if I want to look at... I, I don't know. I believe... Excuse you, Gandalf. Don't spill your water. I believe the first book is The Blade Itself. I have no, I have no, I have no, stop saying I have no, you sound dumb. I have no idea what it's about. And I'm not going to look it up because I don't want to know what it's about. The next series that I want to start this coming year is Spellsinger by Sebastian de Castell. I, the only thing I really remember hearing about this series is of course from Jade at J.D. Ray Reads. She loves Sebastian de Castell. She's the reason that I started reading The Great Coats. And I think that there's a squirrel in, in this series. Squirrel. I don't know. There's magic. Apparently someone's magic is gone. There's an Argosi who's a traveler. There are... I think six main books in this series. There are two prequel books of this series and I believe that I believe that there are a couple more books coming out in this world but I'm not entirely sure. The next series that I want to start in this coming year is The David Bad Trilogy by S.A. Chakraborty. You're following Nahari Nari in 18th century Cairo and she doesn't believe in magic until she accidentally summons a djinn warrior who tells her that there is a city that she is inevitably bound to. I would guess that we're going to travel to this city. I have no idea. The first book is The City of Brass. And I'm pretty excited to start. This also, it's a trilogy, obviously. I think I said that, the David Bed trilogy. It's finished. So I could just do, <coughs> excuse me. I could try to just binge the series and maybe do a video of it. That'd be fun. Ooh. The next series. Oh man. The next series is not finished yet. 
It is The Silent Gods by Justin Call. The first book being Master of Sorrows. The second book is out. It is The Master Artificer. And from what I've heard, I think that this is going to be a... What is it called? This I think that this is going to be a villain origin story. I... Well, I like villain origin stories. I also know... Th well, I've also heard that starting with Master of Sorrows, you don't really get that it's a ver villain origin story. I believe it is... It starts as a dark academia. It says, among the academy's warrior thieves, Anev de Breath... De Breath is an outlier. Unlike his classmates who were stolen as infants from the capital city, Anev was born in the small village of Shanbalau. Of Shanbalu. Anev oh, was believed to be executed and then unknowingly raised by his parents' killers. Seventeen years later, Anev struggles with the burdens of a forbidden magic, a forbidden heritage, and a secret deformity. When he is subsequently caught between the warring ideologies of his priestly mentor and the academy's masters, he must choose between forfeiting his promised future, his promising future, he must choose between his promising future at the academy or betraying his closest friends. Each decision leads to deeper dilemma until Anev finds himself pressed into a quest he does not wish to fulfill. I thought that there were going to be like tons and tons of books in this series. Goodreads is only showing four. I don't know. We'll have to see. It looks like the third book comes out in 2023 though, so we could we could read the first three. Maybe. I think that there are chunky, chunky books though. Oh, well, Master of Sorrow says, oh, that's the Kindle. Let's see. It's, it's a little, it's, it's almost 600 pages. I would love to start the Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. I think I've been putting this off because I want to finish the Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin, but I also, what was the other series by N.K. Jemisin that I tried to read and I did not, I did not like it. Let me see, N.K. Oh, The Killing Moon. I did not finish that. I didn't like it at all. I, this isn't, this isn't what this video is about, but I, I'm also a little weary to start. Do I have something on my face right there? Oh no, that's just, well, don't take them off now, you dummy. Film this whole video with them on. I, because I didn't like The Killing Moon, I am a little hesitant hesitant to start the fifth season. I believe the fifth season is a sci-fi. This is the way the world ends. Again, three terrible things happen in a single day. Let's do it. Let's read it. We should read it. I could read it. That's fine. Everything's fine. Next up on my list is the Founders Trilogy by Robert Jackson Bennett. I know nothing about this. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I know that the books are called Founderside, Shorefall, and Locklands. That's all. That's all I know. They're all out. I could make this another video that I binge. Ooh, okay. The next trilogy that I want to read this coming year is Raven's Mark by Ed McDonald. If I remember correctly, I was watching a video of the Brothers Gwyn on YouTube and they were talking about how much what one of one of them were talking about how much they loved this series, I think, if I remember correctly. And it just made me really want to pick it up. The Republic faces annihilation despite the village of Galhero's black wings. Black wings. Black wings. What are black wings? I don't know. That's the first book in the series, though. Black wing. When a raven tattoo rips itself from his arm to deliver a desperate message, Galharo and a mysterious noblewoman must investigate 
a long dead sorcerer's legacy, but there is a conspiracy within the Citadel. Traitors, flesh eaters, and the ghosts of the wastelands seek to destroy them, but if they cannot solve the ancient wizard's paradox, the deep kings will walk the earth again and all will be lost. Oh. That, it just, it just sounds fun. It looks like that series is finished. Do I want to binge it? Maybe. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Next up is the Blood Sworn Swaga by John Gwynn. Again, this is one that I'm going to read or planning on reading after I finish the Faithful and the Fallen series by John Gwynn. I believe that The Shadow of the Gods is based on some kind of Norse mythology or yeah it's a Norse inspired it says it's set in a brand new Norse Norse inspired world and packed with myth, myth magic and bloody vengeance bloody vengeance I'm here for it I'm here for it uh the first two books are out Shadow of the Gods and The Hunger of the Gods um, it looks like there's a third book on Goodreads that hasn't been released yet. For some reason I thought that this was finished. Might be coming out this year. No clue. Not a clue. The next series is again one that I will continue after I finish a different series and it is the Book of the Ancestor by Mark Lawrence starting with Red Sister. I don't know much about this. I think that it is like nuns who kill people. I have no idea. Yeah. At the Covenant of Sweet Mercy, young girls are raised to be killers. This is a trilogy. I think that Becca from Back in the Books really loved Red Sister and so I'm picking it up on that recommendation. This video has been so much faster. We are on the second to last book of this, this video or the second we're on the second to last series of this video and that is the rift war saga by raymond feist i believe that this is a um a, i would say more like classic fantasy it's i don't want to say it's old but it was published the first book that magicians or magician apprentice and Magician Master were published in 1982. That's before I was born. So I want to say that it's old, but it's not old. It's not old. It's not old, okay? I don't know much about this. I know that there is a huge, uh, it's called the Rift War Cycle. Um, it's, I think, similar to Robin Hobb's Realm of the Elderlings and Brandon Sanderson's Cosmere. And the uh, the first series is the Rift War Saga. And that's all I know. I, I don't know much about it. I think that it's like classic fantasy and I haven't read much classic fantasy, I guess. Uh, the Wheel of Time would be the first that I can say is like classic. The final series that I'm hoping to start this year I'm also potentially hoping to maybe sort of kind of buddy read it with one of my brothers. He mentioned that he wants to watch the TV series or has maybe watched the TV series. I'm not entirely sure. I think he has watched the TV series and he wants to read the books now. I have not watched the TV series because I want to read the books even though it's not fully finished. That is A Song of Ice and Fire by James George by George R. R. Martin starting with The Game of Thrones. Now my brother Duran, name of Duran, my brother Duran has mentioned multiple times that he wants to read this. So I th and I I've been wanting to pick it up for years. I just don't it's a lot and it's not finished. <laughs> that makes me nervous. And I think that I'm going to make him hold me accountable for it. And it would be fun to have someone like in real life to talk about it with. 
So yeah, I think that's that's the last for this list. Do we want to know what Game of Fire is about? Game of Fire? Song of Ice and Fire is about? I don't know. I know that winter is coming and I think we're following... See, I've started and I've read like the first chapter or so and I think we're starting... We're, we're following the Starks who live in Winterfell and they are like the ruling family of that um, area and the king comes and takes his his bestie Robert. No, is the king's name Robert? Yes, Eddard. The king shows up and takes his bestie Eddard Stark to be his right-hand man and that's really all I know. That's that's all I know. I think that eventually there are going to be dragons. Maybe. Hopefully. I like dragons. That's all I have for you today. Those are the series that I want to read this year. Start this year. This coming year. And again, if you have read any of these books, let me know down below. If you want to buddy read with me, I am always up for a buddy read. I am always up for more bookish friends. I, <laughs> no one like in my life really reads like that. So I, <laughs> hence me talking to a camera about books. I mean, hey, how's it going? Yeah. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've read anything. If you want to read them, I would love to buddy read with anyone and everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't paint me thankless. Just have to say this.